Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and I wish you a fantastic day. It has been a month now since the invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian people are courageous and brave and determined to drive out the Russians. I stand with the Ukrainian people and wish Putin will have the road to hell. I want to say a big thank you to my returning subscribers for subscribing to my channel and following me on my numismatic journey. And if you have not subscribed, I do appreciate it if you can support my channel and like, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for more videos. Today, I am going to share with you my recent visit to Bank Negara Malaysia Museum on a Saturday afternoon. In order to visit Susanna Jan, I had to apply online. There are only two sessions per day, at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Each session is only limited to 40 people. These restrictions are in place due to COVID to minimize close contacts. You can go to the link shown here to apply for the visit. Do it at least two days in advance of your visit. This is the art gallery on the third floor. The art is quite interesting. The Numismatic Gallery is on the second floor. These are the early forms of money used hundreds of years ago. There are not many exhibits as I think the gallery is undergoing some major renovations. This section of the exhibits details the history and founding of Bank Negara Malaysia. This is a money printing machine used to print banana paper money during the Japanese occupation. This set of Malaysia specimen ring it is absolutely priceless. Do you want a piece? This is a replica of Tan Ismail Ali's office.
In the early days, before the availability of computerization, the paper currency stock is all recorded in these huge ledgers by hand. I cannot imagine doing this today. This is the evolution of the dress code for staff at Bank Nagara over time. This is the design detail for the Agong coins. These are old and shredded ringgit used for souvenir items. These gift items can be bought at the museum shop on the ground floor. I just left a message for Bank Nagara. A big part of this section is closed and under renovation. Here are the specimen paper currencies of the world. I am taking the stairs down to the first floor. It is all about Islamic banking in this section. The rapid development of the rubber and tin industries brought about the entry of foreign banks. The first few foreign banks commenced business in Malaya, the Standard Chartered Bank and Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Corporation, HSBC. The earliest domestic banks to commence business in Malaya were Orient Bank and Pacific Bank.
In 1988, Bank Nicaragua Malaysia assumed supervision of insurance companies from the Ministry of Finance to enable an integrated approach. Bank Nicaragua Malaysia also regulates development financial institutions, which are specialized financial institutions established with specific mandates to develop key sectors such as manufacturing, agriculture, and small and medium-sized enterprises. 1951, founding of Employees Project Fund, Popular Policy Fund, and Culture, to safeguard employees' savings for retirement. 1963, founding of Pilgrims Fund Board, the Mulata Double Patch, manages pilgrimage activities for the Malaysian Muslim community. 1973, founding of the Malaysian Stock Exchange, Bursa Malaysia, as an exchange holding company. 1974, founding of Bank Sinclair National, BSN, paving the way for the reform of the Post Office Savings Bank system. Delivery channels of banks started to include automated teller machines, ATMs, in the early 1980s, and subsequently to online banking in the early 2000s. Payment instruments evolved from paper-based to electronic-based instruments. The introduction of Islamic finance and Takafo in the early 1980s marks an important development in the country's financial intermediation channel. A significant development also occurred in the security sector. The Securities Commission was established under the Securities Commission Act 1993. That will develop the Malaysian capital markets. With continuous capacity building, domestic banks have enlarged the regional international presence. There was also a more established domestic financial infrastructure, such as the Malaysian Deposit Insurance Corporation, PIDM, and Credit Counseling and Debt Management Agency, AKPK. The financial industry today is confronted with a new normal, rapid advances in technology, and an increasing tech-savvy demographic are presenting both opportunities and challenges to the industry. Bank Nicaragua Malaysia is supportive of the growth of FinTech. At the same time, as a regulatory body with a mandate for financial stability, Bank Nicaragua Malaysia continues to ensure that risks arising from new developments and innovations are appropriately managed. We are now at the ground floor and about to enter the children's gallery. This is the most interesting exhibit of all. This is the Million Ringgit Tunnel. One million ringgit is plastered along the wall of the tunnel. I have not seen so much cash in my life. Unfortunately, I cannot get a single piece as I walk through the tunnel. Children and adults will have a fun time in this section as there are a couple of interactive exhibits here. I can't help it but to go back to the Million Ringgit Tunnel and look at it once more. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Have you been to Susanna Jang? Do let me know in the comments below. I look forward to read your comments.
I do buy and sell coins and banknotes. If you are interested in a trade, please reach out to me at valuablecollectibles88 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for more videos. Thank you for your support. Have a great day.